So we're making a brizola today, and uh, I've done all the the mixing already. Effectively, we've got uh, a 1.27 piece of um, silver side in here, and uh, I've very carefully cut away all of the sinew that was on the outside and the fat. And we've just got this piece of meat now. Obviously, the strings come off. This was just a piece from Waitrose that looked quite nice, Aberdeen Angus. So we'll see what it's like. I've left a bit of sinew on, but it's not a problem. So in here we've got uh, 48 grams of coarse sea salt. We've got four sprigs of um, rosemary that you might be able to see. Here we are underneath. We've got some torn bay leaves. So these are just some nice homegrown bay leaves that we've just uh, shredded up. Six uh, cloves, a garlic clove crushed, black pepper cracked, that's one teaspoon, chili flakes, a half a teaspoon. Then we've put in uh, a couple of strips of orange zest, a couple of strips of lemon zest, and then the next thing that will go in will be some red wine. And we're not going to do that yet though, but we need 250 ml of red wine. First of all, we're going to spend four days where all we're going to do is leave it in the tub and we're just going to put the lid on in the fridge and we're going to leave it there and twice a day we're just going to turn it over with this marinade that's going to all go into it. As soon as the fluid starts to come out, this salt will just start to distribute around the tub. We just need to make sure that we get an even coating. Because the meat's actually not that, it's thick at this end, but it's quite thin here. Um, so four days of turning it over, and then we'll put the wine in, and then we have to marinate it again for another five days. We drain it all off, we dry it off with a tea towel or some um, kitchen roll, put it into the fridge and we'll hang it um, in the curing fridge for about three weeks in some muslin. But uh, we'll come back to this um, when we start uh, seeing some differences.